Hello guys! Kumusta? Sana um, marami na kayong natutunan sa mga discussions natin sa nakaraang mga araw. At sa araw na ito ay meron na naman tayong bagong um, lesson na matutunan. At bago ang lahat, gusto ko sanang um, magpasalamat sa suporta ng aking uh, ng aming team sa Tago 3. No? Sina Pam Annabel Montenegro, um, Lala Escudero, Arlene Tamayo, Sulayda Mantilla, and Hansel Habines sa mga babae. At sa mga lalaki naman, um, sina Adam Bisinga, Kim um, Suarez, Joey Lusada, and Silimi John July August Boniel. Uh, sa Silimi yung uh, actually siya yung virus sa uh, grupo namin. Virus kasi kapag nandyan siya um, very contagious ang kanyang patawa at lahat kami ay natatawa. So siya ang nagbibigay ng buhay sa grupo namin. Um, also to our um, district personnel we have um, Erlin Pachico and Lori Beth Idol and also Sir Harvey Morris, our district nurse. And of course guys, um, sa ating um, maunawain at mapagkalingang district in charge, walang iba kundi si Ma'am Josephine Montenegro Arua. Yeah! Thank you very much ma'am. Sana ay mabigyan ka pa ng maraming taon ng Panginoon upang makapagservisyo pa ng uh, maraming taon sa ating department ko, sa Department of Education. Factoring sum of two cubes The factors of the sum of two cubes is composed of a linear expression and the quadratic expression. Let us take this as our example. Factor x cubed plus y cubed. Its first factor is a linear expression in which we have the sum of the base of each term. Here in our first term, x cubed, our base is x. In our second term, y cubed, our base is y. So we take the sum of the base of the first term and the second term. So we have x plus y. Then, multiplied by the quadratic expression, which says the square of the base of the first term. So we have here our, the base of our first term is x, so we square. Minus the product of the base of the first and second term. So, this is our first term. Its base is x. Our second term is y cubed. Its base is y. We subtract and get the product of the base of the first term and second term. Then, plus the square of the base of the second term. So, we square the base of the second term, which is y, so we get y squared. Now, let us try to compare these two operations of two cubes. Previously, we have discussed the difference of two cubes. And um, now, we are discussing sum of two cubes. Let us compare how these two operations 
and the process of get, getting the factors differ from each other. Here, if the operation between cubes is subtraction, the linear factor operation is also subtraction. And the middle term of the quadratic factor is in addition operation. Now, in the sum of two cubes, if the operation between cubes is addition, the linear factor operation is also addition. And the operation in the middle term of quadratic um, factor is subtraction. Now, let us have another example. This time, we are going to factor m cubed plus n cubed. So its first factor is a linear factor, with, which is the sum of the base of the first term and the base of the second term. Here, in this case, in this example, our base is m for the first term and n for second term. So we have m plus n multiplied by the quadratic um, factor by getting the square of the uh, base of the first term m so we square m then since the operation of our um, linear expression is addition the middle term will be subtraction so we subtract the product of the base of the first term and second term which are m and n plus the square of the base of the second term so the base in the second term is n so we have here n squared so therefore the factor of m cubed plus n cubed is composed of a quantity m plus n and another quantity which is m squared minus mn plus n squared. Let's proceed to another example. We have factor 27w cubed plus 64. First, let us express its term in perfect cube form. Let's start with 27w cubed. We can rewrite this as 3 cubed multiplied by w cubed. Why 3? Because when you multiply 3 to itself 3 times, the product is 27. Now, you also notice that our exponents is the same. So, we can, by law of exponents for um, powers of product, we can rewrite this as, or we can multiply the base, 3 and W, and raise it to the power of 3. So, this is now our um, first term expressed in perfect cube form. Then, 64 can be expressed as 4 cubed because when you multiply 4 to itself 3 times, the product is 64. So we have the second term expressed in perfect cube form. Now, let us factor the expression. Our first factor is a linear factor which is the sum of the base of the first term and the base of the second term. Here we have 3w as our base and in the second term we have 4 as its base. So we 
get the sum. Okay. For the second factor, which is a quadratic um, expression, we have the square of the base of the first term minus the product of the base of the first term and second term plus the square of the base of the second term. Now to simplify, we have here um, the product of the linear factor 3w plus 4 and um, the quadratic factor 9w squared minus 12w plus 16. How did we get 9w squared? So from the square of 3w, we have this is equal to the product of 3w and another 3w, which is equal to 9w squared. Then 12w is uh, the product of 3w times 4. And 16 is the product of 4 squared. That is 4 times 4, 16. Okay, so therefore, the factor of 27w cubed plus 64 is composed of the linear factor 3w plus 4 and quadratic factor 9w squared minus 12w plus 16. For our next example, we have factor a cubed b raised to the power of 6 plus c raised to the power of 9. First, let us express its term in perfect cube form. Starting with a cubed multiplied by b raised to the power of 6 is equal to the product of a cube and the cube of b squared. Now, how did we get this expression? Okay, since we are going to express in perfect cube form, we divide 6 by 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. That's why we have here b squared. Okay, and to check, we have b squared multiplied to itself three times. The product is b raised to the power of 6. And since our exponents are the same, which is 3, we can multiply the base a and b squared. Okay, so it becomes now the cube of the product of a, b, squared. And that will now be our first term expressed in perfect cube form. For c raised to the power of 9, we get the cube of c cubed. How did we get this one? 9 divided by 3 okay since we are going to express this one in perfect cube form 9 divided by 3 is 3 so that's why we have here c cube quantity raised to the power of 3 so to check we have here c cube multiplied to itself 3 times is equal to c raised to the power of 9 so we have now the second term expressed in perfect form, perfect cube form. So to factor now, again, our first factor is a linear factor. And the base of our first term is AB squared and the base of our second term is C cubed. So we simply add uh, the base of first and second term. And multiplied by the quadratic factor, which is the square of the first term 
I mean the square of the base of the first term minus the product of the base of the first term and of the second term plus the square of the base of the second term so we have here this expression now to simplify we have the product of the linear factor and the um, quadratic factor now how did we get a squared multiplied by b raised to the power of 4 here is how so by law of exponents for powers of product our exponent here can be distributed in each factor as the exponent in each factor so we have it becomes a squared now and b squared becomes b raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 so to simplify we have here a raised to 4 I mean a squared multiplied by b raised to 4 okay so that's how we get a squared b raised to 4 uh, using the law of exponents for powers of product and how about c raised to the power of 6 this comes from the square of c cubed by law of exponents for powers we can multiply the exponents so we have here c raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 which is equal to c raised to 6 that's how we get c raised to 6 again by law of exponents for powers so therefore the factor of a cubed b raised to the power of 6 plus c raised to the power of 9 is composed of the linear factor a b squared plus c cubed and the quadratic factor which is a squared b raised to the power of 4 minus a b squared c cubed plus c raised to the power of 6. Now it's your turn. You are going to factor the following sum of two cubes. We have number one, number two, number three, and number 